Hey friends, where I'm here today to talk about a more serious topic, uh, and that is the fact that uh, there is a certain archetype of weapon uh, and some arm exotic RMPs that we need to talk about that are currently OP. Uh, and that of course being submachine guns. Um, oh, as well as hand cannons. Uh, oh, sidearms, auto rifles, scout rifles, uh, snipers, fusions, shotguns, rockets, swords, uh, and grenade launchers too. Did I miss any? I don't think I did. All these weapons are really OP. Oh, and don't forget uh, Dune Marchers, of course, is OP. Peacekeepers is OP. A fitting aspect is OP. Um, hmm. Graviton Forfeit is also OP. Uh, oh, Gear Falcon's Hobbit, very, very OP. Right? Uh, and we are getting to a point in Destiny where like, basically 90% of everything that we see in Destiny 2 is OP. And it's been complained about and it's been whined about on forums and on, on media and stuff like that. Uh, and so it's just, everything is OP, right? But of course, everything is OP for a different reason. Okay, for example, uh, you know, we have weapons that are OP because they don't leave you hardly any options. Okay, think of things like, you know, uh, Luminarc and Jotun. Those don't leave you any other options other than disengaging and running away. You know, if somebody has got Luminarc and they hit you with it, you just got to turn, you got to tuck tail and run. You don't get a, you don't get the opportunity to engage again. You don't get the opportunity to blah, 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 whatever. You just have to turn around and run. Jotun, same thing. If you, if you know somebody's going to shoot you with it, you just have to run. You can't shoot back. You have to turn around and run away. Shotguns. If somebody's rushing you down with a shotgun, you have no choice but to try to kill them before they can reach you and kill you. Right? So there, there's this, there's this distinct lack of options that so many weapons have that players just don't like and that's what makes them op but then on the flip side there's also you know weapons that are just very very they're boring you know and that's why they're op you know hand cannons for example you know i go behind a wall i just peep shot peek shot peek shot that is the most boring uninteresting gameplay i've ever seen in destiny 2 to to you know to to pop around a wall take a shot go back pop around a wall take a shot i can't do it because it's so boring I like to use SMGs and auto rifles because it's, 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 it's much more entertaining and fun to me. But so, so hand cannons and scout rifles that can do that as well as pulse rifles are OP, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see. What's another reason why weapons are OP? Oh, uh, of course there is the, the, you know, the issue between players like, oh, well, you know, all these top tier players are using this gun. It's OP, right? Yeah. That's, that's for sure. Uh, a reason why you know, uh, everything is OP is because, you know, everybody in, in high level trials is using everybody who's on their flawless game is using, you know, this weapon. So it's, it's OP. Yep. Uh, but then there's also the flip side of it and, oh, well, nobody ever uses this weapon and I'm getting killed by it, by this dude over and over. And I know it's a sucky weapon, so it must be OP, right? That's right. It's, it's OP. And so everything in destiny is OP in its own special way. Every single weapon, every single armor, every single class, blah, 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 is OP. Which begs the question, why does anybody even play Destiny 2? If everything is OP and broken and, and just in a terrible state, why do people entertain Destiny at all? Why do they play it? Why do they come to it day after day, year after year, spending money after money after money on the game if everything is just broken and OP? And it's because everything's broken and OP. You know, if, if somebody's using somebody that's broken and OP, I can also use something that's broken and OP. You know, if somebody's using, you know, uh, 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 a scout rifle with box breathing sitting in the back of the map, I can use a sniper rifle and I can counter it. You know, if somebody's running around with immortal, you know, and, and just doming me, I can switch to a pulse rifle or a hand can. I can stay at range and attack them. You know, if somebody wants to rush with a shotgun, I can just stay out in the open far away so they can't close the distance on me. Everything is OP because everything in the game has a rightful counter, which really makes nothing OP if you think about it. But anyways, everything's OP because everything has a rightful counter to it. The problem is players, one of two things happens. Number one, players, I guess three things. Number one, players don't want to change their play style. Can't tell you how many times I get bagged in the crucible because Mr. Shotgun rushing Titan cannot kill me with a shotgun. And finally he gets one kill on me and Oh, like I got to bag this guy. 
it's not because I'm using OP weapons. It's not because I'm great at the game. It's because I'm not going to let you close the distance on me with a shotgun. I'm going to do everything in my power. If I know you're running around with a shotgun out there, I'm going to back up with an SMG or something like that and make sure that you can't kill me with a shotgun, right? If you're going to sit in the back of the map with a scout, I'm going to use a sniper to counter you. If, if you're going to, you know, use this, I'm going to use this to counter it. If you're going to use this, I'm going to use this to counter it, right? There's counters to everything that exists in the game, except for maybe heavies, but it's heavies, you know, or supers. It's supers. How are you supposed to counter a Thunder Crash? How are you supposed to counter Nova Long? How are you supposed to counter a Blade Barrage? These one and done supers, you can't counter them, except it, you know, I think everybody kind of has. Nobody really complains about supers, except for maybe Thunder Crash Titan, um, but neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, everything is OP. So. If everything's OP, that means nothing's OP, right? No, no, I shouldn't say everything's OP. There are outliers. We know there are outliers. You know, every now and then, Bungie will release a new weapon, new exotic that is broken in some way. Target Lock Immortal, for example, was a prime it was a prime example of that. You know, Target Lock Immortal was, for a time period, broken. It killed so fast and literally had absolutely no requirements other than just landing your shots, which, again, like 90% of Destiny players can do, right? Uh, what else? Um, you know, pre-nerf might a multi-tool. When high cal rounds was OP because you literally couldn't counter it with a scout rifle because the flinch was immense. And that was a long time ago. Pre nerf recluse. Once it got going, oh, good luck. You know, a 0.47 or 0 0.4, 0 0.47, somewhere in there, time to kill just by getting one single kill on a, and it's a legendary weapon. Yeah. Mountaintop, same thing. You know, mountaintop OP because that grenade was dealt way more damage than it should have been and traveled at a billion miles an hour. You know, <clears throat> all these weapons were OP, but of course, what happened to them in the end? They got nerfed. Okay. So when a weapon is genuinely OP and it's in, it's in that 5% of, of weapons that are actually truly OP, Bungie comes in and they'll fix it. They'll nerf it. They'll change it in some way so that it is not as strong. We saw it with every weapon so far. I don't think there's a single weapon in the game right now that I can think of that is genuinely op to the point it is like broken like hey this is this is performing substantially better than everything else we have right it's very rare that that happens and it, it just it doesn't happen it does not happen often um but yeah there's also the aspect of rng in terms of the map you know and for example i'm playing on eternity here like if i'm trying to run with a shotgun and smg on eternity i'm gonna get destroyed by scouts and pulse rifles and hand cannons it's inevitable. So scouts and pulse rifles and hand cannons are OP because of that. But you switch it around, you go to endless veil, you know, and I'm using my SMG uh, or I decide, you know, I'm going to switch to a scout rifle because that last game on attorney, I got domed by the scout rifle. Now I'm going to switch to a scout rifle and I get endless veil and everybody's using an SMG and a shotgun and a sidearm. Oh, well now SMG shotguns and sidearms are, are, are OP, right? Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. And that leads me to kind of the third reason why everything is OP. Uh, is player mindsets. The player mindset is divided into, I guess, like th technically three categories. There are the ascendant plane individuals who have big brains who understand truly that destiny really isn't all that unbalanced, right? It's, it's, it's really not. Everything has a specific place. If you use it within that place, you're going to be good. But then there's the other two. And I think this is the primary type of players. You know, there are the, the new players in which everything is OP. Oh, this way I got killed by it. So it must be OP because this guy's using it. This good players using it. Right. And then there's the other end of the spectrum, the great players who gets, um, destroyed by something uh, like that. They, they would never expect like rat King, for example. Oh, wow. This guy is, is destroying me with rat King and I'm using immortal. And I, you know, I, I should be destroying him. Like the, rat King is OP. This is OP. This is unacceptable. Rat King needs to be nerfed. You're a scrub for crutching on Rat King, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff. So Rat King is OP, you know, to this, to this player with, with tens of thousands of hours, a quite frankly, stat wise, like, like not even an opinionated, like a, like facts say Rat King is a piss poor weapon. It sucks. It's stats say so, but it's OP. It's OP, right? Ah. <sighs> This is a difficult topic 
for many players to comprehend because people like to be mad at destiny i'm one of them i'm not gonna sit here and say i've never complained about something being op or frustrating or god this hand cannon is just op or this scout rifle is op like i've i've done it too we've all done it but we need to let go of our our, our anger and the the frustration we need to say hey is something actually op or was i forced to play a different way that I didn't like. And that's why it's OP. You know, somebody shot me with Lemon Arc. So now I have to run and, and pout and hide in the corner for, you know, two extra seconds to heal. So Lemon Arc is OP or mm, I just had to play a different play style. You know, is, 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 you know, this scout rifle OP? Or am I just running around in an open area far away from everybody and not paying attention to the scout rifle that's there? Is, is Jotun OP? Or was I just not paying attention and got caught off guard by it, you know, or is Yoten OP or was I just killed by it because I didn't react fast enough? These are the kinds of questions that we need to ask ourselves genuinely, you know, what map was I on? What weapon were they using? What weapon was I using? How was I playing? Were they playing to the strengths of their weapon or were they playing to the weaknesses of their weapon? Am I playing to the strengths of mine or am I playing to the weaknesses of mine? There's so many factors in what makes weapons an armor op right that it's 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 there's not really a reason there's not a formula to say okay here's how we calculate the overpoweredness of this weapon uh bingo this is this weapon's over op here i plugged it into my calculator and now it's op no that's not how it works every player sees every weapon as 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 differently you might think that Rat King is, uh, is, is OP. You might think that Taraba is OP. You might think that Immortal is OP. I don't. Okay, just like you might not think that, you know, Hand Cannons are OP, and I do. Okay, but really at the end of the day, nothing is OP because the overpoweredness of everything just balances out. If you want to use a scout and you want to do well with it, you're going to need to sit back and play passively. If you are getting killed by somebody who's using a scout, you need to change your play style and you need to play, you know, to their weakness don't let them don't run into the lane that they're just adsing on right play smart play wise play to your weapon strengths and to your enemy's weaknesses and if you're if your enemy is using a really strong loadout that is just and and they're just countering whatever it is you're using then change your loadout and that's another thing like players they don't like to change loadouts in games i'm one of them you know i don't oh like i really want to use rat king and a sniper this game i don't want to have to switch to you know, uh, a shotgun and a submachine gun. Cause I really like these. So, because I don't want to switch my place on my loadout, what they're using is OP, right? Exactly. That's right. Everything's OP in destiny. I'm not going to beat this dead horse anymore. Um, seriously, think about how many things right now are in destiny are truly overpowered. They are uncounterable. They are, you know, oppressive. They are, they are oppressive to the point where you can't do anything about it. Okay. Because there are weapons that are oppressive like Lemon Arc, but they're not oppressive to the point where you can't do anything about it. All right. Ask yourself these questions and then, and then, you know, ask yourself, or does this person know how to use this weapon? Does this person know how to use the last word? Does this person know how to use chattering bone? Does this person know how to use insert whatever weapon better than me. And that's why they're doing better than I am. Ask yourself that anyways. Yeah. Like the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, let me know in the comments, what your thoughts are, what you think is OP because I would love to know what everybody thinks is OP, <laughs> but let me know what you think is OP. Also, let me know what's, you know, if you disagree with what I said, or if you agree with what I said, like, do you think that players just have an issue with, with wanting to complain about weapons for skill reasons? Or, you know, do you think there are genuine concerns and worries? And, and that's one more thing I want to touch on actually, before we go is, you know, the next thing players in trials like to complain about X weapon because, wow, I just got melted by it. Did you get melted by an immortal because it's absolutely the best thing in the game? Or did you get melted by immortal because you got shot by two or three other people at once? You know, because that was something in, in my Lemon Arc video we did a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago, weeks ago, whatever it is. You know, people are like, well, Lemon Arc is, is, it's OP because, you know, uh, you know, the team shot potential. First of all, any other bow can do the same thing. Okay. But also anything in trials where there's team shotting involved is going to feel OP. If, if, if I've got three people using like last word, you know, at, at, at 
20 meters, which, you know, or, or 30 meters, which is way outside of last word's effective range, but we're able to hit, you know, some crits and bodies, you're done for because it's OP, right? Because we're team shotting you, it's OP. Seriously. Anyways, like the video, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think about uh, about the about my thoughts here. Like, do you agree? Are you one of the ascendant plane individuals, the big brains that understand? Hey, you know what? You're right. Destiny really doesn't have anything right now that's super OP, and every now and then something does come out that's OP. Uh, or are you one of the uh, one of the people that think that just certain weapons or certain archetypes are just absolutely busted? And let me know why you think they're busted as well. Um, yeah, subscribe for more daily Destiny content. That's it for me, folks, and I will catch you on the next one. Hey, do me a favor. Watch the video you see on screen right now because for whatever reason, YouTube thinks that you'll like it. Bye for now, guys.